the hell? Beaver hat. Looks like it's her favorite location now, by Thief's Landing, by Stillwater Creek and Mantica Falls. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, you're watching Horizon Rover, today is Sunday, 2nd of April and this video is about today's Madame Naza location in Red Dead Online, there she is by Mantica Falls and daily challenges in Red Dead Online. So the list of daily challenges for today is the next one, it's two bison skinned, you can see the locations for the bisons. You'll find them at Great Plains and also at Heartlands. Then, 5280 feet distance driven train. For that you have to kick the engineer out of the train and drive it yourself for this distance. When I need a train I just fast travel to McFerrin's Ranch and usually it's coming straight away. If not then I fast travel to Armadillo and that train is over there. 5 English maze picked. You can see the locations for the English maze. It's also not far away from today's Madame Snazar location and McFerrin's Ranch. One jumped from a horse to a moving wagon. For that we have to jump on any moving wagon. Other players wagon or any NPC's wagon. We have to match the speed of that wagon. Ride along it and when it will be prompted on the screen just press the square button on the controller to jump on that wagon. Let's try to do that by Saint Denis. I would recommend you to go to Blackwater, Valentine or Saint Denis to find the wagon. Alright, there's a wagon but I think this one is too small and maybe it won't work for the daily challenge but let's try. There's a bigger one anyway. No, it's also too wild. So let's try on this one. Looks like we can't even jump on this one. Go. Right, what about this one? Yeah, we can jump on that wagon, so which won't count for the daily challenge anyway. Alright, that's right. So we have to find a four-wheeled wagon. I mentioned that before in the daily challenge video that Two wheels, wagons are not counted for the daily challenges. Oh, let's try on this one. There we go, and this challenge is completed now. Next challenge. Five non-player enemies killed while in Dead Eye. You could see in the intro, all you have to do is just go for example to Van Horn or Thief's Landing and shoot their Lobos or Van Horn citizens while in Dead Eye. Aim at them, press R3 button, if you are using Painted Black it will be really easy. Slow and steady, well you can complete it in Slippery Bastard as well, but I prefer Painted Black. Shoot NPCs while you in that dead eye mode. 
and the next challenge is one self portrait taken. For that, you have to take your camera and press R3 button to point it at yourself and then take a picture. So, let's do that now. Get out of that wagon. There we go. <laughs> so, the camera is here. R3. Well, sometimes you can't press R3 button, as you can see it's grayed out. All you have to do in that case is just move to other area. Alright, so R3 here. And we are taking a picture of me and my horse. Okay. And this challenge is completed now. Next one. Is one the boy missions completed? You'll find the boy by Flatneck Station or in Valentine. You got two possible locations. So there he is for me at the moment at the Flatneck Station. You have to go to him and you have to accept one of his missions and complete it successfully. Or another location if he is not there, then he is by Valentine right here. Now let's see what we have for the Bouncy Hunter today, it's two bounces brought in from West Elizabeth Posters, they are in Blackwater and Strawberry for example, what the hell? Bastards. Beaver hat. set on fire now I like to waste my explosive ammo in this case when some beaver hat kills me for no reason stop shooting me What the hell? What the hell was that? What the f couldn't hook tie him, just moved away and got rid of the ropes. They disappeared. Alright, let's carry on. So, where did we stop? Uh, one bounty hunt completed with 5 minutes on the left and 3 bounty targets blasted from horseback. For the trader, today we have 15,838 feet distance delivery wagon trial on mission, 6 large animal carcasses donated to Crips and 1 resupply completed with 5 minutes left. For the collector, 2 collectibles found with a metal detector, Three collectibles looted from non-player enemies, make sure you're looting all of them and three collector maps used. So you can use your collector maps for the coins, which you'll find with metal detector and a shovel, or for the fossils. But I got three locations marked for the fossils from my previous collector's map and you'll find them in these search areas around the markers with metal detector obviously. So around here, then around here and one more by one horn around here for the moonshiner today it's 200 dollars made from moonshine sold two moonshine of preferred type sold to buy don't sell your moonshine to Bert higgins and one moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact drive carefully for the naturist two blending tonics crafted to use one don't kill an animal for 24 game hours it's 48 real life minutes so avoid hunting for the time and trampling other animals 
two legendary animals found using pheromones, you can use Harriet's missions for this challenge as well. And of course you can encounter them in free room. So whenever you're gonna see a legendary animals blip on the minimap, drink that pheromones bottle or I don't know, rub it in your skin or whatever we do with the pheromones. Uh, by the way, it's uh, on the item wheel. There it is. In this compartment. And you can't use it while you mount it on your horse. On that, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And see you next time. <laughs>